like a hockey set. Yeah. I would I would absolutely 100% believe you. And it's, I hate it. I hate it. Also, shout out to Snore rocking the Mabel shirt. Shout out to uh, the Nerf Arenas. Okay, I was wondering what that was earlier. Yeah. I was like, is that like a Peach turn up? And then like yeah. So there's a, there is a uh, a Pete, a Smash player named Nerf who uh, runs his own online lobbies. He's got like five switches at his home. Uh, he he programmed uh, he made programs to auto run them. Oh wow. At 24 hours a day. So like uh, oh that's awesome. There's like a lag check system. It, the system auto boots people if the arena goes down. This the, the programs know how to remake it's it. It's just like a community kind of yeah. Uh, it's just platform, a it's just a 24 seven online arena. That's pretty sick. And so he's done. I know um, I know a few players who ladder who try to who hit the top of that ladder and try to ladder themselves pretty consistently. And uh, really. So uh, shout outs to Nerf. Uh, and anyone who uh, trains at the Nerf lobbies, I know Waltz was a big purveyor of the Nerf lobbies for a bit. Okay, so that's interesting. I never heard of that. There are some amazing players that that rank up there. I've, I've I've spent some time in those lobbies. They're crazy, very very good players in there. But here we go. Uh, we are offline though, so here we go. Uh, bon Air Grand number eight question mark. Eight, yeah. Eight grand finals. And uh, this is interesting because last time hockey went CSS every game, every single game. So. And I feel like that was a better matchup than Sheik in this matchup, but I don't know. You're the resident Bowser main, so what do you, what um, do you think about I that? would say Sheik is definitely definitely better for Bowser than, than CSS would be, okay. but um, it may just be a comfortability thing at this point, you know, or maybe Hockey's just opting to try something out here. Um, Sheik obviously doesn't have the same explosivity as, as Zero Suit does. You don't have the, the, the confirms that you can hit on Bowser that can just delete a stock. Uh, but I think what you, go ahead. I think what you do trade, uh, the trade off for that is that um, you can escort Bowser off stage, and then it's just playing the ledge game. Like if okay. you're that confident in your ledge game and you're that confident in your edge guarding, then by all means go see. And I would imagine there's like a pretty big window for Needles bouncing fish off stage. Is that true or no? Yeah, Needles bouncing fish and Air bouncing fish uh, both have a, obviously a pretty large window on somebody as big and heavy as Bowser. Oh my but god! But the big gluteus Maximus. Yeah. Getting the spike hitbox, uh, gonna take out the first spot here, and it's a very disgusting angle is that spike hitbox. It's definitely not straight down. Okay. It is it is down into the side. So, right. but good chase there by Hockey to even things back up at two stocks apiece. Snore with a raw back air out of uh, out of pit stun. And again, these raindrops coming in from Hockey, but uh, Snore gonna up his way out of danger. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Solid read there too. Oh, and again, those that short hop side beat. <laughs> they got you there. We'll see what he can do to try and break in here. Oh my gosh. Nice. That's and such a good option, pushing some back off too. And then air back air. Baby's first kill confirmed. My favorite kill confirmed. And yours. <laughs> uh, Snore with the lead here. Uh, again, hockey, not. This again, this is nice. Hockey's not afraid. Like he's he's willing to go in and, and, and fight this this giant turtle dragon face to face. Um, will he say Sheik after this game? I don't know. But I remains to be seen. Big chasing here to spare. Okay. And that's interesting to see. Uh, I never knew uh, Bowser's down B. Did like half shield damage. I guess the ground impact landing is the extra half. Yeah, it's that, that's the actual pop. So okay. when you when you do uh, try to snap to ledge with it, if they're hogging the ledge a bit, you can get that little bit of pushback from yeah. from the from the butt. So stocks are even, but hockey uh, basically kill percent. Yeah, this is a pretty large deficit right now. Oh Here we go gosh. again. Yep. I guess was looking for like a like a tech in on the on the tech chase there, but now hockey's gonna get his damage in. See if he can escort this this Bowser off stage. Nice. Gives a chase here, that drifting there. Trump, yeah. I felt that coming. He's trying to beat out a lot of Bowser's blocks too, obviously. Oh, oh my yep. gosh. Very yep. smash. Wow. Parry up, parry down also would have worked. Uh, What's his fastest uh, smash attack? Um, I believe it's down. Okay. I think down's a little faster. But um, I'm pretty sure down is faster. I think up the 
Uh, I think the, the obviously of the invincibility on the shell, mm -hmm. um, and I think the armor comes out a little sooner on up smash than it does on down smash. Okay. And when it's going up, does it have like a little Nick hitbox where it'll like tap you up or no? I might just imagine that. Um, I might just be. It's got that. like a. It kind of does that at low percent. Um, okay. He does have like uh, a ri like when he rises up. Obviously, the the apex of his shell is stronger uh, than like getting hit hitting Bowser in like his snoot or something like that. Okay. And then of course there's a landing hitbox on it too. Um, can lead into a back air confirmed uh, if because uh, it always sends straight behind. Really? Yeah. Okay, so you can, I didn't you know can, that. You can pull uh, usually at, at mid and in some high percents you can uh, do a, short, a full hot back air. Either. Okay. And and do you ever like go for that on purpose or is that just something you react to? Um, it's it's more of a reaction. Okay. Like if like if they you go for the up smash and uh, I don't know. I feel like if you want to purposely go for that you can. Um, but usually there are better things to do in that situation. I would feel okay. like. It's one of those things where it's like you get him at ledge, uh, you try to read like a standard get up or a roll, and you mistime it, but they're beneath you as you come down, and okay. then you can kind of go for them. That makes sense. Oh my gosh. Yep. That's scary stuff. Big butt trumps. Down yeah. smash. I might kill at like 180. It'll kill eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh All right. God. Get the jabs, get off me. Snore giving chase off stage. Hockey making it back. Smart. Yeah, that was a really good drift back by a hockey. It's like Bowser can only be out there so long. But uh, the parry on the on the needles and just the instant side V afterwards is going to scoop Hockey out of the forward smash and, and take that first off. Okay, there it is. <laughs> he, in, he answers back though. Uh, so now we're getting back to a very even base here. We'll see what Hockey can do with these uh, these early damage conversions here. Uh oh, takes a jump. All right. Snore, you see, starting to pepper in those up air is a fantastic anti air move. Uh, we'll, we'll win most trades. Uh, we'll kill Sheik at like 95. So, uh, and of course, couple that with Bowser's insane uh, pivots. Uh, you know, you can get a lot of a lot of mileage from that up tilt. Nice solid conversion there by Hockey. He's keeping him back oh, off stage wow. here. Fair trade. Those are scary too. Um, you will you will trade with Bowser's up sometimes. The hardest part is um, preempt uh, trying to preempt that uh, final hitbox and buffering air dodge. Then you just die. Okay. And one one thing uh, that in the first set they played, mm -hmm. he was getting so much mileage out of that up smash. Like I think he was five for five. So hockey's definitely playing around that a lot better this time. For sure. And you can see like even in hockey parried the landing hitbox to get that to get that uh, advantage off of that too. All right. Yeah. Side B's gonna obliterate hockey D. Hockey did the eye a bit too much on the right, but I mean it's cheap. <laughs> Not much you can. She going die early. She is gonna die early. The the vice of playing of playing here. But you cool combos like these, you can escort Bowser to the edge and ledge trap him for a year. <laughs> uh, he's got 49 damage on him so far. Again, hockey, you're right. He's staying at trying to save that golden distance uh, away from away from Bowser, trying to force Snore to put an option out. Oh wow, barely did right? Yep, gives chase there. Bowser gonna make that back though. The up smash gonna cover the landing. And again, it's scary too, because Bowser's just so good at erasing all that all that hard work. Yeah, one or two uh, exchanges and it's even. Absolutely. Yeah, down smash the ledge will kill here, and again. A couple a couple mistimed uh Oh my gosh. Fires there by Snore, but not gonna do him. I like that fair he went for. That was actually really smart. I would have got hit by it. Big fastball there. Oh, the needles! Snore trying to get away from you. The forward throw. He, I mean, Hawk's just got to find this Ooh, kill here. Gosh. Oh, no. Oh, that was so... Oh, why would he go for that? I wonder if he... Yeah, I was like, maybe looking for a shield poke or a, a drop shoot. Whatever he was looking for, Snore did not give it to him. He got shook like a sack of meat off the stage. I just felt like the risk reward for that was just not good. Because sure. that, that was not going to kill Bowser. That would send him off stage and put him in a edge guardable situation. But yeah, I, I, I my guess is uh, my only guess is he was maybe looking for the the sour spot in, or the sweet spot spike box and went up there maybe. But even then, yeah, you're right. I mean the the th there are safer options I feel in that situation. But yeah. You know, live and live and learn, I suppose. 
Game number three again here on Pokemon Stadium number two here. Uh, tournament game here for Snore if you can close it out. Bowser Tough Guy coming in clutch. Uh, Snore trying to get the damage off on the Bowser Cyclone, but nothing. Oh, good try. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Okay. I was kind of expecting, even if Snore recovered properly there, he's just going to fall with another Nair, and it's like you're dead at that point. Yeah, I mean, that's smart. That's uh, I and mean, that's good knowledge for Hockey to have going out, too, is uh, is if you can comfortably go out there and force trades with Bowser's Uppy, like, uh, you know, you one thing that, that gives Bowser's Uppy that big distance is his forward momentum. So you, you deny that from him, and you force him to, like, uh, to come back the, the hard way, like this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he definitely picked up on it because he did it again right there. Really good ad adaptation there because previously he wasn't edge guarding Bowser all that hard. For sure. And, and it is a bit a bit awkward, like uh, especially if you don't if you have to commit to edge guarding Bowser because you do have to risk um, the trades and the and, and such with with the up B. But Hockey doing a, a, a solid job so far. Just, just see if he can oh, oh no. no. Oh my god, he almost got cheesed. Mm -hmm. That should be a dead Bowser though. Yep. Forces the trade, makes oh it back. Alright, we're good. And that's why like she's actually not as bad as people think in this game, because she can go so far off stage, it's insane. That vanish will recover like cross my eye. Absolutely, yeah. Some of the best uh off stage play in the entire game. Oh the big butt. And the up smash, yep. Wow. That killed early too. It is an incredibly strong, strong move. Um, I killed a snake at 58 with it. 58. Oh god, that's insane. Yeah. I knew it was strong, but I didn't know it was, it was that strong. And, that, and that, there was like maybe an, a, an iota of charge in there. Like it wasn't much. That's sus. <laughs> it's uh, Bowser. <laughs> but Hockey's trying to figure out a way to get himself back into this. Gets the okay. hit he needs. Here comes the escorting. Yeah, getting off ledge looks very rough for Bowser. For sure. I mean, that's in it. It's nice, facing back. Yeah, Bowser's options are pretty, pretty limited uh, off stage and in tech situations, as you see here. But the tech back is going to get him out of it. Hockey pulling himself back into this game. He's going to figure out a way to close this out. Oh, next hit will kill. Watch yourself. Here's Vision for that side beat. Very sneaky. Nice. The drag down into F smash. Yep, oh print. my god. Oh, wow. He, he, I am shocked he didn't get hit by that nade. Yeah, I'm I me too actually. Uh oh, here comes the the big sword option off stage. That wow. Okay. Oh, I thought the, I thought the F tilt hit. I thought the F tilt I, I thought hit. He honestly. Did too. That was a blatant lie. Oh, oh that's gonna do it. Okay. Our, Hockey finally getting a game on the board. That was yep. uh And he did make some adaptations that game, so Oh, maybe this will be the turn of the tide. Absolutely, yeah. We get, we'll see if it's, things start to swing back into his favor. Um, yeah, he's, he was really going out there, trying to maximize his edge guards there. Got some, got an early stock, which is, you know, um, as Bowser, if he die below 125 percent, like that is. Oh yeah, that's just absolute trash. That's a feels bad stock because because you give them the lead, and then the other person, if they're smart, they run away, and it is it, it can be a little difficult to chase them down. Yeah. Um, that's like brawler characters in general. It's like, you get down, you're getting camped. Mm -hmm. They're going to zone you out. And this is the first time in the two sets that they actually didn't go PS2. So, interesting counter pick there by uh, Snore. Yeah. Um, this isn't terrible for Bowser. Uh, I I mean, you're still going to get ledge trapped, but the Kalos platform is actually um, a low-key very biased towards Bowser. Um, forcing a tech, it's it's kind of easy to force uh, force the tech situation up on those with, with okay. Bowser. Um, and then from there, it's uh, like you turn around, throw a back air out, that covers basically the whole platform. Uh, you can mix up shield breaks and uh, side beats there, or alternatively, she can just escort you to the bottom of the stage <laughs> and you can just die. Yeah. Either way! And Bouncing Fish is just going to kill that much earlier, too. Like Absolutely, yeah. The, the sides are a bit shorter, so um, that may even benefit Hockey uh, a tad, too, in being able to, to get those, you know. And you can mix up recovery as well with the walls being there. It's like, I don't know, it's an interesting thing. For sure. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, curious, I, I'm curious what Hockey had banned. Uh, if he did take FD off the map, I could, I could understand that. Uh, I think FD is a really good Bowser stage, personally. Oh, the Fist. The Invincible Fist. Here 
There we go. A whole stock lead now for hockey. I think the factor of oh my oh yeah. See what I tell you. You take that you, you, you take that aerial momentum away, and it's just so hard for Razor to get that distance. Yeah. But though Snor was able to answer quickly with a back air, he still has an entire stock to make up here on this on this. Might be might be like you said, regretting the uh, the Kalos pick a little bit. Yeah, it's not looking too uh, too good right now. I mean, the way things are going, he'll have an, an opportunity to redeem himself in the counter pick department uh, in game five. But I mean, you can't really count Bowser out. <laughs> That's true. Oh, going super deep. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh no. Okay, finds his way back. Oh, nice. Beautiful conversion there by Hockey, using every inch of Kalos to his advantage. See if Snork can make his way back. Hockey will die to a sneeze. All right. And there you go. Wow. He's coming in hot with the, with the drop kick. And now, um, a, honestly, a relatively even game. Oh my gosh, he almost had that drag down. Oh, oh no. no. Uh oh. And you can hear the, you hear the crowd, a collective groan yeah. uh, as the flame breath hit. The ra the tough guy going to come in, free punish for, for Snore. And he's got max rage right now, so this is anyone's game right here. Yeah, Hockey trying to give chase. The upbeat. Oh, okay, doesn't offer the, just offer the regular up air there. Smart recovery there by Snore using the, the down air to, to make his way back to stage. Avoids oh, the trump. No. I'm so scared of that up smash right now. Oh, the wall clean! The wall clean. Oh, that would have been that would have been juicy. Oh, oh wow. Snork swinging for the fences and pays wow. for it. Damn. That was crazy. That was crazy. I respect it though, because it's like if hockey came down with like an aerial or something, mm -hmm. that'll just eat right through it. It is hard, like, um, like when you, uh, I, as a Bowser player, you get you get like the your Jimmy's get rustled, and you're just like. Um, you, you start getting some momentum going, and you're like, and you're like, oh, I gotta hit him with a big move, <laughs> and so you just, you just like, you're just like, oh, I got him. And yeah. You don't really got him, but uh, you kind of hype yourself up to like, oh, I'm gonna get the sick read and just drop kick him. You just but. dump the load. Mm -hmm. it just doesn't pan out. No. They're but, smash roll, interesting. Yeah. So back on smash roll for game number five here. Uh, hockey looking for the reset. Um, I mean, we gotta say since that, since that, uh, that third game, uh, it's really kind of been a different set. Um, Snore's been able to keep pace, but uh, I think for the most part, Hockey's kind of shown the changes. He's had momentum. He's been up like the entire time, pretty much. Hockey's kind of shown the the adaptations he's made to the matchup. Uh, now in this game five reset on the line. It's up to Snore to try and uh, kind of just deny <laughs> deny Hockey. You know, be be the be the big Bowser, be the be the spoil, and, and shut him down. Oh my gosh. Okay. He's taking a lot of damage from that up here. Absolutely, yeah, that up here, especially the maximum is about 20, so. That's the that's the problem with challenging him off stage. It's like, you're gonna take a lot of damage from that. But. Absolutely, and, and it's weird, cause like, I, I, it may just be my my lack of knowledge, but um, I don't even know what, what constitutes like, you getting a trade, you winning the trade, or you beating the move or not, or you just being kind of sucked up by it. I, I okay. don't know quite enough. Um, I do know that Dare kills. Dare does kill, especially if the, the bottom's untackable like that. Oh my gosh. There we go. Wow. Yeah. Didn't work the first time. We'll try it a second time. Uh, pans out. Uh, tied up two stocks apiece now. And the early damage coming in from hockey. We've seen oh, this. He's going to get these drag downs all day. Mm -hmm. He's going for the range on preset. Oh my god. Okay, hockey's moving. Oh my lord. Yeah. Try to try to snipe the jump there with the yeah. needles there. That, that may have been the end of, of Bowser. For that stock, near to bouncing fish, gonna do some damage. Oh, Hockey wow. looking for that bear, just good high recovery by Snore. Absolutely, he that he needs something. He's taken 113 damage, which in it's in, in sneak in snake or sneak terms is basically 300. <laughs> yeah, he's getting beat up right now. Oh, uh, yep, that's it. Near to oh, fish. No. Don't know if you know this bastard's the heaviest character in the game. Yeah. <laughs> A big get up attack there. Oh my lord. I'm surprised. It, oh yeah. wow. The raindrop. Raindrop's coming drop in. Top. Nice drop zone. Drops from the platform with the back air there. I, I love the way he's playing now. He's not forcing options. He's just kind of safely 
spacing him out with aerials. For sure. He, and he's, I think what he's doing is he's exuding so much pressure on Snore 2 that he's forcing Snore to pick a, a an option like that. Right. Uh, you know, just, just in an attempt to generate some space. Uh, and Hockey's just punishing appropriately. He's going to eat some damage here. Sorry. Sorry. Anything, anything, most anything from Snore should kill now. Side B obviously going to do the job. Again, oh, wow. that rapid jab. And the, these late nair, late hit nairs are so good for confirming to that pouncing fish. Oh, there we go. That's going to close it out there. Yeah. So again, ex same exact situation we were in in the previous game. Uh, we'll see if Snore can actually finally uh, can complete the comeback, uh, unlike last game where Pocky can force the reset here, tosses the grenade out. Pops him in, Nair and a bouncing fish, and Bowser is still the heaviest character in the game. Uh, should be oh my gosh. The Nair whiffed. Oh, again, Snore's got to watch these committals here, though. He he will die. Oh, no. Oh, oh my god. The, the wrong directional air dodge. Both both players kind of feeling the pressure here right now. A little bit of spaghetti. Down smash? Down smash. Okay. All right. Hey, you were right. It killed at 190. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, reset complete. Wow. Hockey. Taking the first set of grand finals, uh, and now we're back to we're back to game one. I'd like to imagine that hockey is banning PS2 because Snore won pretty much every. T okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, the first set they played, Snore literally won every game off. My guess, my guess is he's banning um, FD and Yoshi's. Yeah, I feel so, like you gotta ban Yoshi's against Bowser. Oh uh, yeah, I think you. You're you gonna die. So you obviously ban Yoshi's. Um, I personally think FD is probably his next best stage. You could ban the other triplets too. Um, I know some Bowser's like like Battlefield. I I personally don't. It's uh, uh, especially against more mobile characters like Sheik, who can just shark you on That's every good. platform. That's the whole game. <laughs> it's like the only thing you get from that is like top ropes, side B. Yeah, and it, I think it's easier for super mobile characters to kind of get away from you. And Bowser's like uh, his very uh, surprising speed is is a really good asset. Um, so he can close that distance really big, really well. But I mean, he's still a big boy, so he can get outmaneuvered in situations like that. Yeah, hockey reverse three zero. He's really playing quite solid ever since he changed the tides. But yeah, I mean, in, 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 at this point, he's kind of just challenging Snore to find that response. You know, uh, hockey's proven that okay, I've adapted. I've shown you what I what I have learned in our games together. Now it is up to you to make the response as they trade stocks immediately. <laughs> and even if hockey's had like leads in these sets uh, or in these games, it's like they're so back and forth. Like they, they just trade stocks the whole time. Which, if you're hockey against Bowser, sounds like a really nice plan. Because the last thing you want to do is let, is let Bowser do his thing. Good lord, that is so much shield damage. It is, and it, and it sucks to be on that platform too, because normally those multi-hits come in and you can kind of roll behind Bowser. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, there's nowhere to go on that platform. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Go. The, the dare does not connect this time. Yeah, he keeps going for these late-hit nares, because mm -hmm. it's such a good confirm. Nice. Oh, yeah. big. And that fair, that fair is like one of the most broken moves in the game. It, it covers everything. I, I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and call you a liar, but <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm just going to say it's. Oh. oh. Honestly, I respect that. That was smart. If hockey jumps there, he's dead. So that was at zero. I actually don't think he would. It be wouldn't dead. spike. It would spike, but I think he would come back. Yeah, it is. Cheap, so. Um, I, I think he was looking for What's the. What's going to do here? I think he. Yeah, that that move. Bowser's safest match attack is the up smash. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think what he was looking to do is also to like land on the platform too. I I, I wonder if he just maybe clip through it. Possibly. Yeah. So, let me tell you, that does happen. <laughs> but he does have the advantage right now. Hockey at 116 on his last stock. Uh, I think sort of. I think sort of has to kind of watch himself. He doesn't want to hail marry it too hard. You know, the, the the kill's gonna come to you. You're Bowser. You just can't give hockey free damage and free edge guards like this. Uh oh, there. Oh, See the the the, the cr oh the oh. needle saving his life. That fair was coming. Oh, that's it. Uh, Farewell. Yeah. Damn. And Snore continuing the win streak on PS2. But uh, and counter picks, I feel like pretty big uh, deal. 
So, where is Hockey going to go? Back to PS2. I don't like this. I don't like this. He's back on PS2. Here we go, game number two, running it back on uh, Pokemon Stadium. Snore was able to close it out there, get the early stocks. Oh no. Okay, that would have been just tragic, honestly. Giving in, here come the combos, the escorting, 77. And he hasn't been able to get any of these trumps. Snore's been really good at scouting them. <laughs> Yeah, narrative fair, yes sir. El Clasico. Oh god, trade of the dares. <laughs> he got the parry, but that landing hitbox is coming in clutch. Honestly, I feel like Hockey's trying to condition him to do an up smash. Dodging out, yep. Alive, okay. Solid, just immediate side B on the, on the, on the neutral tech. Man. Did not get the, the, the knock away that he wanted. Bowser's gonna hit him with a big fist. And the first stock of this game going to go to Snore, but uh, we've seen yep. <laughs> Polly uh, literally that exactly how it happened the first game. Yeah. Comes straight back with the Nair, Nair to Bouncing Fish, and we are back to get to an even this. That Nair is just so good in this matchup. It's like, Jesus, how do you get how do you get away from that? For sure, and, and your Bowser, that, that Nair to Bouncing Fish is going to hurt, work on you until like 2.30. Yeah, that's, I'm sure. that's so rough, man. Oh, oh nice. wow, that pivot grab barely missed. Smart, smart in the uh, immediate pity grab too. Tries to cross up with the side B, but the the long legs of Sheik bopping uh, Bowser away from any sort of momentum. Oh no! All right. Okay. Yeah, he he mashed straight out of the gate there to just stall himself there, and uh, was able to use the drift to make it back. So smart, kind of try to try to fake out hockey there, but oh my gosh! Oh yeah, the the wind box kind of messing with his with his uh, options there. And that was a that was a smart option. Oh my gosh, I like the down B he did there because usually it's like you throw a grenade, you feel kind of safe as she. You can just get up and and do what you want. But for sure, I think he was definitely trying to cover the ledge there, but the wind box uh, kind of kind of screwed with that a little bit. Okay. And, he, and again, trying to opt for these. He's there. Oh, he's right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was just served up on a platter there. Yeah, like no no jump to speak of, unfortunately. And uh, with the stock ahead, Hockey's going to take that yeah. every time. You have the stock lead, you go for that. You got to. So, I mean, uh, the hard – it's crazy because – and I mean this with the absolute utmost sincerity. The most advanced part about Bowser is his upbeat. Oh, yeah, I'm so, sure it is. Solely because of how it works. Because uh, the distance and, and the way you hover and stuff changes on the frames that you mash on. And I really like the, the variations he's thrown out there with his recovery. It's, he's not just making it one linear kind of way he's doing it. For sure. He's going high. He's going drifty with that. It's like... That's how he maximized it. I think, I think what happened is he just picked the same the same option too many times in a row and hockey, hockey punished him for it. Yeah. But is that in conjunction? He's hitting all of his, uh, his, his side B snaps, to, his down B snaps to ledge, which is... Uh, uh, very important as well. It's a very, very quick way to get yourself out of uh, any sticky situation. You can see the ledge, which may not be entirely better, but oh my gosh! Oh, if Hockey, giving... if Hockey traded with him way down there, he was dead. Oh, absolutely. Forcing a tech situation would have had to ride Smash go back up, up top. Hockey like falling with these very late hit on shields into like tilts. It's such it's so safe because it's like oh, oh my gosh they get up attack uh, stopping the up smash there. Native bouncing fish weak hit there weak hit there so Ow. busted. Snore again trying to trying to see if he can get some some lead, some edge guarding of his own on hockey. Wow and that was that little like stubble thing you're talking about, mm -hmm. but it killed there. That's that's crazy. For sure, yeah, definitely not the strongest part of the smash, but enough to get the job done. It's not hockey at a gross angle, too. That was interesting. He was like trying to call out the, uh, I guess, the late hit air with the side of the air, but it didn't work out. Forward throw into the bouncing fish, but we're not done yet. Again, the hover by Snore. Hockey on top of the punish. 
But it makes it back this time. Good roll in, Reed. Oh. Okay. Hockey, hockey adding layers to this right now. Yeah. It's like, am I am I gonna fall on your shield with a, a late hit attack? Wow. Still alive. Bowser is a large boy. Oh, no. But and you wonder if the grenade like altered that recovery in I, any way, but I, I'm not sure. He did he did opt for a short uh, a short mash there, so I think uh, he just missed it. Wow. Bowser, Bowser sometimes magnet hands and sometimes doesn't. You know, it depends oh. on how if he feels like taking his arm out of his shell. Oh but my gosh. And we're in a similar situation. Watch the bear. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yep, hockey gonna continue keeping this turtle on ledge here. 81, 94 God. damage now. Wow. Man, that looked rough. Hockey's just exuding so much pressure, man. Like, getting off the ledge as Bowser in this matchup seems so hard. Absolutely. It's, I mean, you know, it's 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 the vein of playing a super heavy, especially a, a berserker like Bowser, you know? Yep. The, it's these, it's these ledge traps, it's the tech reads, it's the edge guarding, you know? It's, it sucks because as hockey, uh, hockey does have to continuously guess right and continuously, um, you know, edge guard and play. I mean, if you've got the wherewithal to do so and you're, and you're understanding like where to place your coverage, like, it, can, it can be pretty difficult for Bowser to to break free from your own clutches. All right. You know, and so then you, you just have all these lingering hitboxes, and it's like if you get clipped by one, you're getting clipped by a lot more. Absolutely, and, and you've got the drift too. Um, because what can throw people for a loop? Bowser does have, uh, I believe he's tied for the longest standard get-up in the game. Really? And him and Palutena both have uh, a very long standard get-up. So a lot of people who will try to punish a standard get-up name is time on Bowser. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that, actually. So, uh, yeah, so, with, so with that, you know, having a lingering hitbox like Nair, like, uh, you know, like back air, that you, you can just kind of drift at both standard get-up and hold distance is, I mean, that's all you need. Yeah. You cover so much, and Bowser, you know, all you got to do is just put that box out there, and, and Bowser kind of has to. Yeah. Yep. Honestly, but, the the subtleties in this neutral is just crazy. The way like, whenever it snores in shield, it's like, hockey's keeping it really like ambiguous as to what he's doing. Oh my gosh! But sometimes wake up, up smash, that'll just get you. Oh, the big hug! Oh, oh no! Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. Okay, who controlled that? Was that hockey? Who uh, that? I believe that was. Okay, lower percent controls? Typically, yes. Okay. Uh, well, it's, it's kind of a reactionary thing. So Bowser kind of has prior has like a slight priority. Okay. But um, the, the cl I, uh, I think the, the larger the disparity in the percent, the more back and forth it can Okay. Be. I, I um, and I think hockey just had the reaction time. Drifted back, got the priority he yeah, needed. That's so smart because it's like you don't. Is it like there's a certain point where you get out, or do you mash out? Uh, uh in the blast zone. Yeah, you just pop zone. out. Okay. Yeah. So as long as you're just he ready. He knew. He knew. He had jump. He saved it. So as long as you're just ready to recover, there, there, there are a solid amount of characters that can make it back. And another bouncy fish confirmed, closing these stocks out. And I'm telling you, these consistent stocks is what's keeping hockey in the lead. It's what's brought hockey back to this to. You know, turning this whole grand finals around. And, like, this whole set has been the same cadence. It's like hockey's in, like, 80, Bowser's on last dog. We'll see That'll that really big wild. drop. Yeah, that drop from platform back air is so scary. It's a frame nine back air. And yeah, something, that, something that big and terrifying coming from a platform, too. So you don't have that jump spot weight. Yeah, I feel like you're not really going to punish that move, honestly. Yeah, not not unless you're already in shield. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a little hard to react to, for sure. But... Snores evened it back up in percent with the with the use of the good use of the flame breath there. But he's on ledge. Uh oh. But now he's on ledge. <laughs> exactly good right. Good luck. Okay, the get up attack. That's just a gomble. Worked out. There we go, the drifting nair coming in. Oh my gosh. What was that? Okay, no, I'm good. There's a drift out, forward tilt gonna take him off. Nice. Oh, finds his way out. Here he got me dead even as it gets oh in the big gosh. up smash. Gonna close it out. And it looked like it, it, he got his bear out, but it just clanked and killed him. Yeah, the invulnerability on the shelf. Yeah. I mean, and, and uh, I think that's, again, just uh, the, the dangerous game hockey. We've been seeing the dangerous game hockey's had to have had to been playing this entire set is, you know, 
uh, he's he's been doing so good spacing around Bowser's shield, but uh, Snore's proven to us the second you're a little off, or the second you think you're safe, you die at 70. Yeah, and that was one of the big differences in like when he wasn't winning those games in the reverse 3-0. He was not getting those up smash kills, and now in the past two games he has. So, absolutely, and, and you know, hockey's been really good at getting consistent kills on Bowser at like 120, 130. So it's, uh, you know, Snore's kind of like, okay, I can do the same, you know. And it's uh, he's been able to keep in relative tandem that game, and that's what forces five here. And hockey now with the counter pick to uh, Callus here on this final game, game number ten of Grand Finals, you know. I, Really, it's really, it's really great. We're watching these two players run the full gauntlet here. Yeah. But I mean, this is this is this is first to bite here. Uh, and I believe Hockey won on Kalos last time, so that's correct. He did have his counter pick. He, here. he won on. He even won on Snore's counter pick earlier. But now this is this is his own counter pick to Kalos. Let's see how this looks oh here. My gosh. Oh, what a wow. conversion! But Bowser's. Still gonna live for the time nope. being, but he's gonna get blown up. He just couldn't really do much there, honestly. Cause it's like that end lag out of the up B. Rough time. Mm -hmm. oh, here we go, regrab. But the, the good use of the up B there by Snore to leave the hitbox up there to prevent any sort of uh, invulnerability shenanigans. Oh my gosh. Oh, that could have been tried disastrous. To Oh, oh, that was clean. Yes, sir. Escort. He's looking for the air dodge there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think it clinked. Still giving chase to, to Snore. Oh no. No way. He charged it too. Gotta let her rip sometimes, man. Now only 74 on him. Again, you gotta watch her after that. Oh, the dare. Oh, oh, he, went so he was deep. waiting for that air dodge, Dude. too. And now here we go. Last stock for Snore. Let's see if he can pull the reins back in, close it out. And uh, Mock Warrior is Hockey going to take this game number 10. Snore's got to be careful with these air dodges, man. Hockey's been scouting them the past like two minutes. And it's hard because, like, with the way Hockey's been playing, it's like, you know, what options do I have? What, how do I get out of where I'm going, you know? Here we go, the escorts. Nice. Wait, was able to not figure the bit. Oh, that was a little bit uh, ambitious. I mean, your soul stock. I guess I, I definitely understand your whole stock down. Got to do something. Oh, sack of me, but we're still alive. What just happened? I did not see either of them. Oh, big um, bear. Uh oh. And now Snorr's found himself on even stocks. Yeah, this is scary. Oh my gosh. 27. Yes, sir. That does that does uh -oh. indeed do like 25 damage. I promise you. You were... You, you uh, have tried. Okay. Bowser lives. The bad tech options. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. oh Perry's up me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here comes the platform. Yeah, he was yeah, going for it. I felt that. <laughs> I felt that in my soul. Oh, my goodness. Oh, went for the trump, but the up is going to stop him. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, Snore frantically up -bees. The bouncing fish misses. Dude. So stressful. Uh oh, the fair. They're both last in right 62. now. 62. Watch it. Watch this down smash at ledge. Oh my god. Perry side beam. He's, He's not, still alive. Yeah, not dead quite yet. Goes a little off the side. Now at 87. So we're getting chased. That oh, finishes oh, over and the explosion's wow. gonna close it out. Wow. wow. And you gotta respect you gotta respect Snore for going for that. He wanted to close with the fair, but my god. I mean, yeah, you had to the you had to start pulling the triggers there, but uh, in a game of off stage battles, you know, she's just got that little bit extra gas. I'm mean, gonna tell you that was a cr if if you want a crash course on what both these characters can do at a at a high level. That, I, was, that was a you perfect got, set. You have ten whole games yeah. of it right there. You know, games of games of Snore. Um, the games of Snore playing the patient game, getting the perfect punishes, getting the early stocks that Bowser needs in combo heavy stuff like this. Uh, you know, and con conversely, you know, with Sheik as well, hockey getting the conversions, the ledge yeah. traps, the edge guards. I mean, and there was just so many like subtle adaptations that set. That was crazy. That was a, a fantastic set. Uh, we're gonna pass it off real quick to Van Jones. He's got an announcement for uh, the Bonnie, the the people on the stream. All right, folks. This is Van Jones checking in.
Thanks so much for tuning in. It was an amazing set. That was crazy. Um, so we have an announcement. It's an announcement to announcement. No one likes those, but I'm going to make it anyways. So we all know you love Cityscape, and we all want that Cityscape that we used to have from before COVID, right? But things have been a little bit rough. All I can say is, for folks who like pre-COVID Cityscape, who like Fourth Tap Brewery, there will be an announcement on our Facebook page and our Twitter tomorrow. And for the first people, or for the folks who come through to Bonaire next week, we'll be making <laughs> that announcement. And that's all you're getting. Make sure you stay tuned to Facebook, Twitter. All I can say, you like you like Bonaire, or you like Bonaire, of course. But if you like Fourth Tap, if you like Cityscape, and if you like the way Cityscape was before, hey, make sure you stay tuned in. Y'all have a great night. Hey, and make sure y'all join the Discord. We just posted on the Austin Smash page. Join our Discord. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. We'll see you guys uh, Monday for Cityscape. Maybe. Monday? Someday. We'll see you guys eventually. We'll see you around. Stay, stay gold.